It's time for our feature segment. It's a pleasure to welcome in board member and uh, trainer Butch Reed. And Butch, we've been talking the last couple of weeks about the news coming out of Harrisburg and Governor Wolf. Um, over the last couple of weeks since the news has come out, uh, what kind of uh, support has, has come about and, and how do you see things right now? Well, it's been encouraging, really. We, uh, we had a nice rally up, at, uh, up, at Penn, up near Penn National. Uh, at Equistar Farm, where Smarty Jones is standing, and my new stallion, uh, Poseidon's Warrior, or Tom McGrath's day. And it's, everybody sounded optimistic, uh, sounded good, and it's going to be a, you know, it's going to be a tough fight. But uh, we're, uh, you know, we're enthused, and the, and the crowd is really behind us, I think. We've talked about so many issues about how many things this would affect, and it would just have not only a great effect on horse racing, but the entire uh, agricultural industry here in the Commonwealth. Oh, no doubt about it. I mean, uh, you know, I'm here because of the, the slot money, and uh, I've got 15 people working for me, and I've got clients that are all Pennsylvanians. Everybody's rented homes, bought you know bought homes in the area, paying their taxes. All good, hardworking people, and they're going to basically, if that money goes, we're going to be you know we're going to have to pack up and move on. But you grew up in South Jersey, but you've certainly been around Pennsylvania racing for a long time. When you and Jenny decided to come back. This was the reason, right? The purses oh, was the reason. No doubt about it. You know, that's why we're here. And, you know, it's worked out well for us. I certainly can't complain. But, uh, you know, they would have hate to see it come to an end. We really uh, enjoyed our time here. And it's been very entertaining for our clients, too. They're all local uh, local guys live in the area here. So they love coming out, being able to come out and see their horses run. So uh, it would be, really be a hardship if we had to move on. And one of your, two of your more well-known clients, Chuck Zachney and Glenn Bennett, are guys who put a lot of money into this game. Yeah, well, and that's another part of it. I mean, we go, we go to the various sales all up and down the East Coast, and the first thing we look at is all the Pennsylvania breads. Right. So, you know, we buy as many as we can, and that's money that comes right back in here to Pennsylvania. Butch, you've been up in New York with a couple of your uh, high-profile horses, Monday morning quarterback and Johnny Red. Tell us about those two. Yeah, two nice horses we bought down, one being a Pennsylvania bred uh, that we bought down at Timonium, and they both turned out very well for relatively inexpensive horses. I think we gave 20, 25000 a apiece for them. Monday morning quarterback jumped up and won the stake, a little stake down in Maryland for us, but he's a, and then he was fourth in the withers, but making a couple of mistakes, so we've decided to give him a little time off uh, down at Barry Eisman's place in Ocala. And uh, just because he's such a big horse, he was 1,200 pounds on the scale down at Laurel. So, you know, we decided to let him mature, let him fill out, not, not, hopefully not fill out too much more, but, uh, you know, let him grow into that big body a little bit and uh, point for the Pennsylvania Derby. That sounds great, Butch, but uh, thank you for taking a few minutes with us this morning. And uh, I know we all have uh, more than a half an eye on Harrisburg. We have at least a full eye, if not two. So uh, we'll uh, check in with you and keep us updated. Sounds good. Yep. It's, uh, it's going to be a long battle, but uh, I think we're up to it. And we've got a lot of people on our side. So.